So you know how to do the sine rule and the cosine rule, but what if you're given a question that doesn't tell you which one to use? This video shows you how to figure out which one you use for what question. In order to figure out which you will to use for all different triangles, I've included Pythagoras' theorem and Sokotoa. So our first question, is the triangle a right angle? If the answer is yes, then it's going to be either Pythagoras or Sokotoa. The second question is, are we involving angles? If the answer is yes, we're going to use Sokotoa. If the answer is no, we're going to use Pythagoras. So back to the top, if the angle is not a right angle triangle, then it's going to be either the sine rule or the cosine rule. The final question then is, does it have two pairs? And by that, I mean, that's a pair and that's a pair. One pair may have both the values there, and the other pair will only have one of the values and one missing value. So it's like a pair and a half. If it does have two pairs, then we can use the sine rule. If it doesn't have two pairs, then we use the cosine rule. With each of these following triangles, we'll figure out together whether we need to use the sine rule or cosine rule. So for this one, I'm going to label A, B, and C. So we have side A, B, and C. Well, we've got values for side A and angle A, so that's one pair. We've got values for angle C and one we need to find for side C, so that's another pair. So a pair and a half. So actually, because we've got two pairs, we're going to be using the sine rule. This next one, we can see we've got a half pair here because we've got X and we've got 120. However, for this side, it's not got a corresponding angle and this angle doesn't have a corresponding side. But you've got to be careful with this one because we've been given two angles, 42 degrees and 120 degrees. That means we can find this third angle. To do that, it's 180, take away 120, take away 42 equals 18 degrees. So now we've actually got a second pair. So our first sort of half pair has a missing value and our second pair is complete. Therefore, we're going to be using the sine rule. Looking at this one, well, we've got a half pair here, so one with missing information. However, we've not got an angle here or an angle here, so we can't have a second pair at all. So because we can't have two pairs, that must mean we've got to use the cosine rule. Now this one, we want to find this side x here. We've been given this side, this side, and this angle. Now you could look at whether we can get two pairs. However, be very wary with this because this is a right angle. And because it's a right angle, and we've got two sides and we're trying to find the third side, we can just use Pythagoras' theorem. Straight away with this one, I can see there's one pair, but then there's no other angles, so we can't get a second pair. So therefore, we need to use the cosine rule. Our last one, again, straight away I can see one pair here, and if we look here, there's a second pair already. So very quickly, I can determine that we're going to need to use the sine rule here. And that's it for this video. If you enjoyed it or found it helpful, show your appreciation by pressing that like button. Stay safe and healthy out there, and I'll see you in the next video.